Hey y'all, this is Zach with Mills Under Pressure. All right, tonight we're gonna to be smothering some pork chops. And other than fried pork chops, and we like our pork chops fried here in the South, but other than fried pork chops, this is the absolute best way, best way to cook them. So let's get right into it. Let me show you what you're gonna need. All right, we got some bone-in, center cut pork chops. You can use the bones, but I like, I like bone-in. All right, so got, got my pork chops. Got a packet of brown gravy, a packet of pork gravy. You can mix this up if you want. You could use, uh, Beef gravy, or you can use mushroom gravy, but I like with, with this. I like pork, and I like and I like brown. All right, I've got an onion. Now I've actually got two of these because I, I use a large onion. I like onions in my in my gravy, uh, so I've actually got two of these, or use one large onion. Got garlic. Uh, use however many cloves you want. I've got five, and I like garlic. One can of beef broth. One can of cream of mushroom soup. Some Worcestershire sauce, and the season. Now, this is how you get, this is how you season a pork chop. This is where you get the taste. You infuse the taste into a, into a pork chop. It's the browning process. So I'm gonna use some onion powder, garlic powder, and I've got Slappy Mama, but use whatever Cajun or Creole seasoning you want. So, all right, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the cutting up onion, the dice my onion, and season up my pork chops, and we'll be back. All right, so now it's time to brown the meat. All right, so I'm gonna throw my saute function on, and I've already added about a tablespoon of olive oil. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit more. All right, so give that time to heat up. All right, so I've already seasoned one side with onion powder, garlic powder, and again, whatever Cajun Creole seasoning you like. You can really season any, any way you like. Um, this is what I do, so. And you wanna be very liberal with the seasoning because this is the only way you can season the meat. So I'll mean, give it a good coating. So, you know, with pork chops, you can't get the flavor into the chop, all right? It's not like you can inject it or anything. So the only way you're gonna get the flavor is the season on the outside and the browning process. All right, so got the saute function turned on. I've got my oil in there and I'm gonna brown it. Two minutes, I'm sorry, three minutes per side. And I can only fit two in this, so we have to do it in, in two steps. All right, so once the oil heats up and it starts cooking and browning, three minutes per side, all right, on each one. So, all right, we'll be back. All right, so brown the pork chops three minutes per side. And it took about, remember, this is the way you flavor a pork chop. You can't inject it, you can't let them marinate. This is the way you, you flavor it is with the the seasoning and the browning process. So we we'll put that aside for a second. All right, I'm gonna turn my saute function off. I'm gonna add, sorry, I'm gonna add just a little bit of my broth just to deglaze this thing. So get it nice and deglazed, but you wanna leave all that fawn, we call it fawn, what's left in there. Uh, you wanna leave that in there. All right, so. Pork chops, go back. And if you have to stack them on top of each other, that's fine. Here's something cooking in the background. We're doing some green beans. Uh, all right. Got my pork gravy. Got my bra uh, brown gravy. That's in there. Now I got my cream of Mushroom soup. That's in there. Followed by the rest of my beef broth. I've got two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. It's going in. Onions that I've diced up. And my garlic. Give it a little bit of a stir and my top one. All right, take your top, put it on, set it to the ceiling position, manual button or pressure cook button, whatever you have in your model. And I'm gonna bring it up to 10 minutes. All right, see on a few. All right, so we did 10 minutes on a pressure and a 10 minute natural release. Here you go, folks. Super good, fork tender. Again, without frying, this is probably the best way you're gonna cook pork chops is in your electric pressure cooker. 
All right, so I can't stand looking at this and smelling it, so I'm gonna get eaten. So we'll see y'all next time. If you like this video, uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, my Facebook group page called Meals Under Pressure. We'll see y'all next time.